Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Amnet. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here in Athkatla, of course, uh, in the government district where we are going to try to get ourselves a... I don't really know what they want, the Temple of Helm. They, they asked us to uh, to talk to a, an artist that's staying over here in this uh, in this little little house. Um, and uh, they want to commission a work of art, whether that is a statue, a painting of the, the ceiling, or something else. I have no idea. So, but he wants to work in Elithium or something or other. Hey, hello. You need something, stranger? Yes, sir. May I be of assistance to you? Have you business with uh, the Gistevs? Uh, not with them as such. I had heard that the artist Sarles was here. Sir, Sarles is a guest at the moment. No doubt you are from some church or another. <sighs> you were expected. Try not to track your dirt about too much. Okay, well. Come get some! <laughs> yeah. Verily. I am pleased at the progress that this ill-conceived group has made. I had not thought such a thing possible. Shut up, I know, man. Go back to your old quips. Let's look for this guy, Sarles. Mm. Let's also steal from, from here. It's also an important aspect of this warfare. Also, because I have some potions here that must be given to people. Like that. Uh, Quar... Oh, there are some traps in How there. Can I help? Let's see if I can get this before... Oh, they're locked. Oh, the you're going to fail that? Yeah, she is. Cast a spell. Because I think this lady might come back here. Okay. I got a potion. It's nothing too much, but yeah. Oh, there it is. That opened. Ooh, a little bit of money. That's nice. That's nice. And a little bit more money. Okay. I mean, we're good enough in terms of money, but eh, it, it, it never hurts. It never hurts. Oh, I see the li the miss was... Came here to Sir Charles' room. Let's have a chat with them first before... Just, you know, they're the owners of the house. You may say... Oh, what is this? The alcove is empty and leads nowhere. Why? I do remember that one, though. Be but, gone, yeah. commoner. I have my own business to attend to. And who might you be? Ah, no doubt you have come to make your case before Sir Charles, that he might sculpt for you from one of the temples, are you? Uh, well, I've come for the glory of Helm. I see. It makes no no never mind to me, and I think it makes little to Sir Charles as well. He's concerned with the creation, not with the who might own his work. It is a great honor to have him here. We are simply the height of the social circuit right now. The envy of all the nobles we are. Uh, do try to keep to the sides while here, will you? I am a very wealthy people coming to see the artist, and I don't want people dawdling with the messengers. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to do that. It's your house, it's your rules, I guess. Lady Gistev. Stand where you're at, peasant. Oh, you must be the messenger scum to uh, beg at the service of Sir Charles. Ah, it's a great honor to be refused by him, so don't feel bad when you leave empty-handed. Well, for Helm, I will persevere and convince him. Yes, 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 whatever you say. Just try to move quickly when you enter in our exit by home. My social club is green with envy over Sarles coming here, but your presence is an eyesore. Yeah, you'd look very ugly as well. Uh, let's have a chat with the guy. Maybe he's going to be very polite and very nice. Who is it? Might I ask why you have disturbed my meditations? My creative muse must be gently awakened, and your stomping about is simply not conductive to this. Well, it does sound better than the other ones. <clears throat> uh, I apologize, but I, uh, I will have. I, I have come to request your talent on a commissioned artwork. Oh yes, yes, yes! One of those bloody churches sent you, didn't they? Uh, must be because everyone else understands the word no. <sighs> uh, which one are you from? Uh, Helm has said. Oh, actually. Come now, is that is your muse that picky? I offer a commission, is that not enough? I have the favor of every mincing noble in the city now. What do I need the backing of a church for? Such institutions demand much of a person. What I really need is to work in the medium of my choice. Pure elithium. Anything less is an insult to my skills, he says. That is all I require. Uh, then I will find what you need. Perhaps I can get some from uh, an ore merchant? I recall the name of one that was referred to me on my last visit. Jolia was her name, I believe. Speak with her. She has exotics occasionally. Try the promenade. Now go. I will work for whatever church acquires the necessary materials. If not yours, then another. Two hundred pounds of lithium, or I go back to enjoying my holiday. There's no resisting the muse of an artist, is there? Says Sir Dallas. By a stone, it seems that all we can do is travel to yon promenade and find this, uh, lithium or whatever? 
whatever he named it. Ah, come, my raven. It will. It could be a lark. It could be a lark? What do you mean? Like a like it could be a fun time? I think that that's what uh, lark means. Didn't mean to zoom in, as you always know, because I don't use that feature. It's just my mouse going crazy. Uh, so let's get out of here. We can actually leave through this little passageway. I think that's going to be the fastest course of action. Yeah, I would think so. <clears throat> of course, Minsk is very eager. He's very eager to find this... Uh, what, what was the name of her or him? Uh, well, actually, we've been there before. If you guys remember, there was a uh, somebody selling um, paintings. I believe that's where we need to go. And also, in the meantime, we could go to oh, we could go to a few places to buy some things. Also, uh, yeah, we don't have the uh, we could buy uh, so many things, so many things, guys. I don't think I'm gonna need the um, the ankeg shell here in this game. Uh, I'm gonna stick to one around. Actually, even if I do. I should be able to find some Ankeg shells around, so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, but I'm gonna stick to one. Let's go to the uh, promenade, Joaquin's promenade, or Joaquin's promenade. Uh, and uh, f from over here, we're gonna go to a couple of places. <clears throat> uh, did we do? Did we kill everybody that we had to kill up here? Like the guys that were right there, right there. I think we did. I'm pretty sure we did. Um, the only guys that we didn't kill was in the bridge district. The the guys. Oh, Minsk is. Very eager as we, as usual, uh, the guys that were very hard to kill, and also the uh, the lich that was uh, in the bridge district. But apart from that, we're doing well. So let's go and talk to Myrtlin over here. That's not him, is it? Mm, I thought it was up here. I I'm not completely certain. Let's send Minsk up there because he's fast. Let's have a chat here with. Um... Oh, actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it not up here? Uh, well, I don't... You point, Let's see. I punch. So, Misk, is there anybody up here that wants to trade with us? Not as such. I think it's one of these guys. Wait a minute. Jerley of the Ore Merchant. Anything you need, I can likely provide, I assure you. Oh, see, I told you. I told you it was up here. Let's have Misk talk to her. It should be okay. Uh, so... Greetings, good customer. A pearl to you. You interested in a bulk purchase of ore? I've got fine prices for masonry as well, and crafters that can build you everything from arches to overhangs. Yeah, well, I have need of elithium for Sir Charles. Oh, Sars, whatever. It's, it's got a weird name. Never mind. Uh, how much would uh, 200 pounds be worth? 200 pounds? He's mad! Raving! Out of his mind! So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure your theatrics make it all worthwhile. What will the price be then? You don't know what is involved in getting lithium. I have an agreement with a rare special source, but there's only so much I'm allowed to take. 500 pounds a season at most. Oh, so... Uh, I don't have that kind of time. Hold on, it's difficult, but not impossible. There are two options to you. You can go to my source and try to ply the extra out of him, or you can use a... <clears throat> substitute. Uh... Well, wh where is your source? I'm sure he will see reason. He may at that, but I will. It will require compass. I will require compensation for revealing him to you. If word got out who uh, and where my source was, I would be out of business. Make it worth my while. Um. Well, uh, if this could ruin you, I should offer no less than a thousand gold. His name is Unger Hildark. He says he stays in the uh, copper coronet when he's in town. Don't get him mad, will you? He's at a, enough of a risk just coming here. His um, <clears throat> Dwergar. Dwergar? Where does a dwarf of such evil nature find sanctuary in, a, in Amn? Well, at the Copper Carnet, of course. He hides worse than... It hides worse than him within. Besides, they have to eat too, you know. Nothing wrong with a mutually beneficial trading agreement. He's in disguise. His kind doesn't look at all that different, and as long as he's left alone, he's fine. Not a bad guy, once you get to know him. You go talk to him, tell him I sent you. Maybe he'll let you pull a little more elithium out of him than I can get. It won't be cheap, though. Thanks. I'll, uh, I'll do that. Good luck. You'll need it. Of course. Uh, you knew I would say that. What? What do you mean? The, that was a very badly delivered line. That's what that was. Uh, anyway, that was my fault anyway. Uh, we are going to talk. We're going to go to the Adventurer's Mart because I want to sell my things. And actually, I need to see where the Adventurer's Mart is. The former home. Sent. Hmm. I don't remember that one. We've been there, though. So, uh... Let's go... Why don't we kill uh, that over there? That one over there? <laughs> anyway, let's uh, go chat to this guy, sell our stuff, and also buy some some things if they have that. Am now, I needed? the ring that he had, 
You guys might remember he had a ring that I tried to steal, uh, but unfortunately I, I misjudged the quality of that ring, basically. That was that. That was pretty much all that happened. I misjudged the quality and I said, no, that ring is not for me. Well, it turns out that ring is indeed for me. The thing is, I don't think I can steal it from him without safe scumming. I would need a potion. Because, look at that, pickpockets failed. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to buy a potion of trap detection and not trap detection. That's the... Uh, it's another one. Uh, the potion of uh, good things. So let's see. My adventure mart. Yeah, let's see. Hmm... What a dump. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's go with that one. I was just seeing what, what he had to say. So all of these over here are going to be sold. Just, I'm, I'm going to actually make a bunch of money out of these, I think. So, actually, is this one good? I can, I can learn it. Because uh, I also tried uh, resistance uh, against fire, against uh, fear crag. Unfortunately, that didn't go well either. Uh, so we got a sun gem over there. We got an emerald. I'm going to keep the emerald. I'm going to keep one staff star sapphire. Because I think those might be required. Flame Dance Ring, nope, nope. All of these can usually be bought, it's kind of easy. The smaller ones, and our gem, just sell all, the, 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 like the cheaper ones, I mean, not the smaller ones. And I don't think they, they respawn their inventories though, so I might be wrong on that, but yeah. The Protector here is not like the Protector in the first game, it's just an amulet, because the Protector in the first game you have a, a quest for that. Aquamarine Gem, that's... That's pretty cheap. I thought it was going to be more expensive. Aquamarine. Is it aqu aquamarine? Yeah, aquamarine is, uh, in real life, it's uh, a pigment drawn from uh, lapis lazuli. And it's actually the most expensive pigment in the uh, medieval ages. Uh, it was used only uh, for, uh, for like, important stuff, like painting the robe of the Virgin Mary and uh, angels and stuff. Uh, and that's why it's it's a very pretty blue, but, yeah. Uh, and there's also other things. I mean, as, the, as artists became richer... Uh, oh, this thing is important, I think. Beljuril. Normally a deep, pleasant seawater green, Beljuril is periodically blazed with a glittering, winking, flashing light. However, this particular stone has a slightly different hue. Perhaps it has a new stain, rarely, if ever, seen before. It looks incredibly valuable. Yes, it is, quite valuable. I am gonna just sell one of these, and I'm not gonna sell any of these, because these are, are these are, are the, the ones that really matter. The King's Tears, I don't think, is important, but the uh, Rogue Stone is. Uh, for unlocking things, and the other ones I'm just going to keep because I, I, I'm not completely certain what is important and what is not, so I'm just going to play, um, yeah, to that. Uh, so, I'm going to sell all this stuff, and, oh, that's pretty cheap. The plate mails are pretty cheap. I thought they were going to be a little bit more expensive. But, ah, well, doesn't matter. Uh, Two-handed, all of these go sold. Oh, no, I, I'm keeping this uh, for for a good day. <clears throat> this one is not a short bow, is it? No, it's not, so it's going to be sold. All of that is going to be sold as well. This is a uh, a very nice sword, but I I don't think I'm going to have anybody that uses long swords. I'm still going to keep it around. It's just a plus two, so uh, yeah, I'm not going to keep it. If I need it, I'm going to buy it again. Uh, so let's see what do we have. The black figurine over there, the potion of insight. That's for wisdom. I have no idea what this is for. I'm going to I'm going to need to look for that to try and figure out why you'd want wisdom in a character. Is that for defense? It's probably going to be against defense like special attacks and stuff like that. Uh like fear probably. Oh, it's fear. I think it might be. It it adds for your I think it adds to your uh, saving throws. It could be that. Huh. Um and the rest of the stuff I'm not going to sell. Let's see what Jahira has. Jahira has a bunch of these. Uh well, nope, she doesn't actually. Uh, you do. One of fear goes away. The dark plus one goes away. Battle axe and all this stuff. Just not here anymore. And soon. Okay, that's those are good. And soon. Oh, and that one is bad, isn't it? Yep, yeah, it is. Rancor. Which means hatred in Portuguese. It might be the same in, in, uh, in Latin. And that might be where the name comes from. Uh, more than Portuguese. Because I wouldn't think these guys would would, would, would care about, about us. So let's see. Uh, we have ourselves good weapons, hopefully. We got ourselves a Warhammer Plus 2, uh, staff of... Yeah, we, yeah, we had a couple of, of very good stuff over here. Uh, in this case, very good staff over here. A plus 4. Jahira is using a quarter staff at this point. She can use it. This one is just a normal plus 4. It doesn't really have any abilities or anything. Uh, it might have... It might have, like, a enhanced speed or something, but you know how it is. Weapons plus 4 and plus 3 usually have that. Um, and the rest of the stuff, like giant hair crossbow, <laughs> giant hair crossbow, it's, it's like, it's like a hair crossbow, but it's not, <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it's kind of weird, um, strong harm plus two, that one is just a plus three, oh, that's an interesting one, right there, oh, it's because it's a, oh, this one is actually very good, 
plus three, plus three. Let's check if uh, we get anything out of that one. Armor of the Deep Ninja. Or the Knight, not Ninja, Knight. Uh, Karaja's Life and Death. Yeah, these are not for us, unfortunately. I, I, wa I wanted, like, something really good. Like this one for... Holy crap! This shield might be the best shield in the game? Look at that! Armor class plus four? Plus seven against missiles? It's a shame only he uses shields. I mean, she does as well, but... Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna go for that, and the rest of the stuff is stuff that I sold already. I thought... Uh, somebody told me... Oh, also these. Somebody told me that... Uh, let's see. Rather Resurrection. The rest... No, this is the stuff that I sold. Yeah. Oh. Did I sell a Belge reel? I did, didn't I? And the Rogue Stone. He also sells... Okay, this... Then if this is not the stuff that I sold. Yeah, th this is the stuff that I sold. Holy crap. Then we have, uh, yeah, the Knight's Gift plus five. We didn't we didn't go for that. That's a very good uh, good armor. Uh, actually, yeah, I can't I can't give it to uh, to Emo and so it doesn't matter. Uh, we got Knave's robe over here. Yeah, I I mean, I, yeah, that's right. Robes. We don't have robes. That's right. I totally forgot about that. Uh, bring that back, please. Thank you. Oh, we do have ropes. I have a robe of fire resistance. That's pathetic. Um, so I would like... So you have a small shield plus two. And you have the dragon scale shield over here. That's actually not that great. And you have a uh, Pelon shield that has plus three, plus one versus missile. So the shields are actually quite bad. I would like... I probably would benefit a lot from... Um, is that a small shield? That is a small shield. I'm keeping that for Emoen. So I'd probably benefit, uh, benefit a lot from... Um, so this one is interesting. I'm gonna keep it around as well as that one, because that one cannot be sold. Um, so I probably would benefit a lot from buying that shield, um, the, that that fantastic shield of fantasticness. Uh, so let's let's do that. So where is it? Uh -huh. Where the hell is the shield? It was down here, wasn't it? There it is. It's not that expensive, all things considered. So it probably will serve as well. Plus 10 against missiles, or uh, plus 7 rather. This thing is amazing. And look at her. Her armor class is gonna go down like. Actually, I think it would be better for Anomen. Yeah, it would. And uh, there we go. So she has now the same shield she had before. Plus 1, an extra plus 1. And the other one is plus 7, or an extra plus 7. An extra plus 7. So basically, this guy will not be hit by missiles. That's quite fantastic. That's quite fantastic indeed. Um, also, another thing that we must buy, and I should do this off camera. Let me d uh, take care of ammo, because ammo is a little bit of a pain. I'll be right back. So, ammo is unfortunately not a thing that I can get out of this uh, particular chop. But that's okay, because Daedri over here, that I didn't talk before to, I, I think I did. Uh, she asks us if we want to look at her wares, and we very, very much do. Uh, we don't have that much money, but we're gonna be able to buy one of the well, one of these There's this fantastic thing over here that adds plus one armor class and uh, one extra plus uh, first level second third and fourth wizard level spells This thing is amazing. It might be good for Imoen because I think she might be able to use a katana uh, I'm not 100% sure uh, But Imoen, I mean it probably would be better for him. He doesn't have katana. K does he have katana? Yes, short sword. Yeah, that's not good for him Who has? Is it for Yoshimo? Because Yoshimo likes katanas, but uh, I don't know if he has spells. I don't know if he does. But this th this thing is amazing. It's a plus two katana, so it's already a, a pretty powerful weapon. It's a one die, a one d ten, so it's speed factor of, of two. These katanas are katanas are amazing. It's just the problem is they they are. It's very rare to get plus high plus on katanas. That's the downside of it. Uh, so yeah. Uh, also, the sensate amulet adds charisma, which is an interesting thing. I don't really need it. We have already 18 charisma, which is the maximum you can you need to get. Uh, I got a I got it from a belt or something. Uh, this thing uh, adds simulacrum, which is I don't actually remember what sim simulacrum is, so I'm gonna need to check. But I'm not gonna buy it right now, uh, and it's pretty powerful. We also have this thing over here that uh, that's a fantastic plate, and we didn't have this one in particular before, did we? It has plus one charisma, or maybe we did. It's a minus one um, armor class. Uh, why armor? So it's a fantastic armor, but we're not gonna get it. We're gonna get this thing over here uh, that has five armor class, magic resistance plus ten, and uh, improved casting speed of four. That is what I like to see. And also we have the sword of Baldurin and the shield of Baldurin. These are interesting. Armor class plus four, strength minus one. 
combat abilities. Reflects Beholder Rays. Oh. I think so. I can't get both, though. Not this one and the robe. Because I don't have enough money. But that thing is really good. That thing is really good. Because the Beholders... It, the Beholder was what we saw before. Did I call it be a Beholder or did I say it's something else? Did I, the, the eye with many eyes? Yeah, I'm going to take that robe, though. That's the only thing I'm going to buy. So we're back uh, again down to very low money. But that's okay because we were getting items and it's important to get these items. They're always also fun. So over here, you're not going to get a plus from this. Uh, but you are going to get the casting speed, which is pretty good. And she gets a plus from this, but not if I give you this. Actually, she doesn't. This thing is... Yeah. Why don't you get a plus? Because he has, I think... I think he's got a... Uh, a thing that gives him... Um... Oh, I'm still carrying this around? <laughs> sure. Uh, I'm, I got this thing, armor class 3. So I can remove that, and that's... Oh, yeah. I think it might be better for her, though. Especially... Yeah, what is this one? Armor class 6. Yeah, it's better for her, for sure. I mean, I can't use this, but... And, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna go with this. Armor class 6. I'm gonna sell this one, and uh, that's gonna be how it goes. So she's got minus 5 armor class. Because she, she, she likes to go up and with, with that, and, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a little bit better, I think. And if I get a better thing... Because I, I want the casting speed. That's, that's gonna be really good. Uh, so, yeah, let's just sell all of that. And, oh, no, sell all of that. Let's just sell this over here. And a little bit of money out of that, and we're gonna go away. Uh, so, where do we need to go? I, I needed... To, oh, she's overburdened. Why? Oh, because you were carrying this. Why? What? How was she... Oh, come again? I don't, I don't know what, what happened there. Didn't she have that before? Did I remove... Did she have strength or something? Anyway, doesn't matter. We can uh, buy uh, ammo sometime later. It's, it's gonna be fine. We need to go to the Copper Coronet. So, we talk to, um, to that guy and uh, I'll see you there. And here we are. So uh, we actually have a lot of quests to uh, that we need to do here in the, in the slums, but not in the copper car. Net. everything has been done here. And actually, there's an exit over here that I'm gonna take after I'm done with this guy. Hey, Unger, what's up, man? What are you staring at? Ain't it ain't illegal to be a dwarf? Last I heard. Take your eyes off me and put them someplace safe. Uh, well, no need for hostilities. Jerly, um, did she sent me? Uh, I wish to uh, to discuss illithium. She did, did she? Well, I'll have, I'll have to have a chat with the lass. I trust you paid her enough that there will be some for her to split with me. She will see that it is wise to do so. So, you seek a lithium, do you? Well, I have none, and I won't be getting any time soon. Now, that, that is out of the way. Goodbye. Oh. Wait, this could be very profitable for you. Won't you reconsider? It doesn't matter, fool. I don't have any lithium. It's that simple. My source is inaccessible, and you aren't getting any. Get angry if you wish, but it won't help. Okay, well, um, it sounds like this was not a planned shortage. W what is the problem? Oh, so now you wish to be my friend. Why would I bother with you uh, at all? Well, you can fix the problem, or you would be you would have a lithium. What else can you do? Nothing. Very few opportunities for mercantile trade in this place when you are even a hill or a mountain dwarf. All right, fool. You wish to share my problem? I'll give it to you. You want a lithium? You can want it. You, you can wait for it. We mine it deep in the earth, and it's dangerous going. It's rare enough when the production is normal. This is all useless information, though, because my lastest, my la latest shipment, was stolen from under me. So there's no lithium for anyone for another season or more. Oh, okay. I'll get the lithium myself then. Bandits? <laughs> no trouble for me. You want to go chasing after him? That's your business. It's lost to me anyway. I show my face, and he'll have the guards on me just for being Dwargar. Typical of this city. I'm just a poor businessman, but I'll be jailed for my shadowed face. This bastard that robbed me looks like a rock gnome, so he's welcomed with open arms. They wouldn't guess at all of... Well, they wouldn't guess at what a fiend he is. After I hired him, I found out what he had done. I suppose that's why he cheated me on and took off. Oh, yeah, it's just terrible. Now, where is he? Yeah, well, you can go after him if you like. Last I heard, he was holed up in the bridge district. A derelict little place brought, bought with my gold. Here, I'll even mark it on your map. There. You won't be moving much. He was on the run from Baldur's Gate when I met him. Oh, I suppose you'll want his name as well. Uh, the name was Neb. He left a few families crying, or so I hear. Tell his corpse that under, uh, Unger Hildark sent you. 
Eh, I'll do that. Actually, I think I found this net before, before right? Forth. I think so. I'm not completely certain, though, but I think... I mean, we have been there to the derelict house at the southwestern corner of the map. I am pretty sure we have, so we are going to go to the bridge district, but first... Oh, actually, from here, we should spawn at the bottom, but we don't spawn at the bottom, because that doesn't work in this game for some reason. It's that one over here, so, yeah, let's go there. This is just a quest of going around, I guess, and... and uh, Doing a bunch of uh, a, b a bunch of walking. Let's send Minsk in. Oh, it's locked. Oh, did we? S did we? F Hello, Miss Kragman. What can I get for you, dearie? Something to ease your aches? A potion or two? Or the Ranger of the Road. Okay, let's look at your potions because I want to buy uh, the potion of Master Thievery. Yeah, awesome. But I'm not gonna buy it with Minsk because uh, otherwise um, it, it it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. The difference is quite small, but it's still. It's you, you notice the price right there? It was uh, 544. Let's go with Marcus because now he has the uh, 18 charisma right there. And that's, uh, I think, 30% discount plus the reputation. I think that's how it goes. Uh, and she has a potion for me for the meager price of... Oh, the same price. Okay, so it doesn't matter which... Or maybe they it just accounts for the, the face of the party or something. I don't know, actually. I remember clicking different characters and the prices would change. Maybe that's different in the enhanced edition. Uh, so let's buy two of these if I can, and I can of course. Uh, Frost Giant, Stone Giant. Let's see what uh, what the potions are, because I don't think I have the uh, fire resistance would be good, but it's quite expensive. I could I could get these um, for the dragon. I didn't do that like that. I went with spells and, and the potions that I have. I think I have one. Didn't I? I had one. I have one. Yeah, I have. Uh, not you. There we go. I have two actually. I, I only used one. Um, but. Um, yeah, I, I went with. I also have a spells spells over here. Try to kill the dragon. I mean, if if you if I've lost you, because it might be the case that I did, because I, I usually go around in circles. Uh, so you are not gonna get that. You're gonna get that. You're gonna have that as a backup, and we're gonna get that ring very very soon. But first, we're gonna open this door, and you're gonna try to open it. Hopefully, you can do that, but you can't, because I do remember trying to go in there before, and uh, well, calling the cold wizards on me after casting this. And now I don't because I have the uh, the thing. You, you wouldn't hurt a gnome, would you? Uh, have you reason to be here? I do not recall summoning such as you. Do I know you? I, I do not think it is so. Uh, is your name Neb? Well, oh, I friend. Who told you my name? Who who is it that sent you here? Uh, well, I'm here to take back what you stole from Unger Hildark. Unger? So you support the morally gray with a slaughter of the morally red? Think of what you what my death will mean. Think of the children. <laughs> Come then, attack, and yours de your death shall be a riddle for some other fool to solve. Oh, Marcus, this this is the same child killing gnome from Baldur's Gate. I remember. For the greater balance, his head must be brought to the authorities. Oh, Boo remembers. Baldur's Gate. Neb, the child murderer. You die, gnome. You die. Ra. Okay, so his head. You, I thought Jahira meant uh, like um, we're gonna, you know, actually, actually take him alive. Oh, oh, okay. So these child spirits, they go away. Uh, by the way, off camera, I remember those stalkers or figures that we found next to the dragon. Uh, yeah, Anuman apparently can kill them with uh, with a good turn on dead roll. Unfortunately, that doesn't always happen, but hopefully it will. Anyway, we're out of time, so we're going to continue this battle on the next episode. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Amn. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.